of the notorious witch trial of Grace Sherwood. I've now had the pleasure of conducting multiple paranormal investigations at the Fairy Plantation. Welcome to Friday Night Ghost Frights from Hunter Road Media. I'm author and ghost story Mike Ricksecker. Explore with us. The Fairy Plantation is a wonderfully historic and fantastically haunted colonial house in Virginia Beach. Its haunts are numerous and many of its tales are sad. The Fairy Plantation was originally named the Fairy Farm in 1642 when the Fairy Boat Service ran the Lynn Haven Waterway. The Second Princess Anne Courthouse was built on the plantation and was the site of what held the notorious witch trial of Grace Sherwood. Virginia's only convicted witch that was tried by water and found guilty of witchcraft when she bobbed to the surface. It was believed that the pure water would reject the wicked. Of course, Grace was no such thing. She was an attractive midwife and herbalist who preferred wearing pants over dresses, yet her supposed witchcraft was blamed for the miscarried child of another. It's rumored her body lies beneath a tree on the plantation's grounds. Other sad tales emanate from the fairy plantation. There's Sally Walk who waited out the American Civil War at the house and when she received word in 1863 that her fiancé had perished, she planted the magnolia tree that still stands in the backyard in his memory. It's believed that her spirit grieves near the fireplace in the best parlor, and she may be joined by Mrs. Charles F. McIntosh, who was eight months with child when her husband died in the Civil War, and it may be her pregnant apparition that's been captured in the parlor. There's also Eric, the young boy who is said to have tragically fallen to his death from the rear second story window, and Bessie, who passed away at the age of five and is said to haunt the upstairs nursery. I've now had the pleasure of conducting multiple paranormal investigations at the Ferry Plantation. I come from Ohio. I was living in Maryland for a number of years, just moved, but I've been asked to come here as a visitor today. What do you think about this display out here? guessing you don't like it. Um, it's got a massive chill. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. I'm just feeling cold right now. I'm feeling extremely cold. I guess I hit on a sore subject. So, so you can't, you can't see this. Okay. Yes, I, it looks like a funeral parlor. I, okay. You need to let the person that runs this place know. I can... I don't usually do this. Um, I can convey that message for you. I feel like right now I'm acting like a sensitive and I don't ever claim to be. That was a little shadow movement over there. Back. It was back over there by the foot of it. A little shadow movement. I still feel really, really cold right here. Right here, super, super cold. So, what would you like to see here? Is there something you'd like to see here instead? You can just tell me. You know, I'm, I have something here that might be able to pick up your voice. It's on my arm. You know, a weird fox thing that's on my arm. Just talk to me. It might be able to catch your voice. While I am explaining my audio recorder, the camera captures an EVP that says, help me. While the bleed over from the next room has caused a lot of the audio footage to be unusable in this investigation, this particular EVP is very distinct and different from the muffled sounds coming from the other room. You can just tell me, you know, I'm, I have something here that might be able to pick up your voice. It's on my arm, you know, a weird fox thing that's on my arm. Just talk to me, it might be able to catch your voice. 
was that? Just talk to me. It might be able to catch your voice. What was that? It was like a light. Up there by the ceiling, it was some sort of, um, it wasn't a mist, but some sort of light. I don't know, something. Kind of like a band of light. I feel tingly in my arms. Oh my god, I am freaking cold. I am freaking cold. I mean, if you want to, if you want to make your feelings really known, you could just, and I don't usually do this out there, but I think it would be appropriate right now. You could just push that right off the table there. That body thing that they have set up in feet. You really don't want to see it there. You could just push it right off. You could. You could. You just gotta chill. I'm not going to do it for you. Okay? You would have to do that on your own. I'm not going to do it for you. Just do that, and if you were, you know, if you were to do that, I, I tell Heather what happened. I tell her that you really don't want it there, and that's why you did that. Okay, I've stepped outside for a few minutes. Um. I just had to take a breather. I was told that um, stuff could be seen shooting out of me when I came out of that room. And whatever I had asked while I was in there, they actually saw something shoot into there. So from the questions that I was asking, it attracted something from their room into my room, which was the uh, best parlor, but that's where they held the wakes. That's why that is set up there and um, yeah then they could see stuff shooting on me so that was extremely overwhelming I don't and, and like I said uh, those of you that have been watching my videos for ever know that I don't usually get like that so um, that was really an intense moment I have never I, I have like I said I have felt temperature changes before but I have never felt um, temperature changes like that before. That was a massive, massive temperature change. Thoughts were coming into my head, which, you know, like answers to, to the questions that I was throwing out there. And so that's, I guess, kind of why I was answering and responding the way that I was. Um, I don't usually do that either. It, it was thoughts were popping up in my head that were appropriate to um, what I was asking. That's I've never I've never done anything like that before. Who was it that I felt and heard in the best parlor? Was it Sally Walk, who was said to haunt there and is also the one that planted the magnolia tree in the backyard, or was it somebody else? Please watch our full paranormal investigation videos on the Fairy Plantation here on the Hunter Road Media channel. And if you have not yet, please subscribe and click that little bell icon for notifications. I'm Mike Ricksecker. Until next Friday night.